Hey everybody, in today's video I am going to review acrylic paints to create fluid paintings like these. So I am starting off with Pebio Studio Acrylics. I have reviewed these before. Well this I was really happy with. You will see, uh, I will describe all the results in the end. For now I am just showing you how I use these paints this is of the artist quality this is camel camel artists acrylics I've used these in most of my paintings before to create fluid acrylic paintings I'm using Naples Yellow and Scarlet. Just showing you how to mix the colors. You spritz some water in it and mix it up like this. Make sure there are no lumps left. I'm just taking normal paint. So you mix it really well and then add some more water. Don't add too much water in the beginning or else it becomes very difficult to mix it. Keep mixing until you get a flowy consistency. And then you just pour it onto the canvas. I've used portrait pink and dioxys in purple here. This is De La Roni graduate acrylics. Next I'm using Liquitex Basics. I'm using Naphthol Crimson here and Portrait Pink. Next I'm using Heavy Body Acrylics by Camel. And this is Senelier. And the last one was Liquitex Heavy Body. Alright, so I'm quickly going to review what I have learned from this. So I used Pebio Studio Acrylics here. And these are exactly what the colors look like when they are in the bottle. And when I mix it with water it looks the same I don't need any uh, special additives to retain that color I've just added water to dilute it and it has still dried the same color that it is so it's brilliant the colors are brilliant it's not changed at all next I tried camel artists acrylics well these I'm not very happy with if you check the beginning of the video this was a very bright red and now it is sort of a dull red and I don't really like it the camel artists acrylics dry uh, well when they are used without mixing a lot of water when you are painting it uh, normally like not in fluid paintings then you will see that the camel artists acrylics are very good but when you mix it with water and use it in this method I really don't like the effects of how it dries I feel it dulls a little bit so you might need special additives to uh, make it retain the color then I've tried De La Roni graduate acrylics this again I found that the purple dried a little bit dull to what it was originally so yeah I would say I'm 80% satisfied with De La Roni graduate acrylics well it could also differ depending on the different colors but for now with the colors that I've used I think even this color had has dried slightly a little duller than it was in the tube I would say 80% satisfied 
Well, next I tried Liquitex Basics. I diluted this with water. I've diluted everything in this review with water. And well, this I'm very happy with. Uh, the colors didn't change at all when they dried. You can still see this part. This red is actually still wet, this little part. And you can see there's no difference between that and this. So yeah, I am definitely satisfied with the way this dries. I'll probably be using this more. Next, I tried Camel Heavy Body Acrylics. Uh, this part right here is still wet and I'm quite satisfied with this compared to the Camel Artist Acrylics. This is Heavy Body Acrylics and it does not dull when it dries so uh, not bad 90% satisfied yeah I would definitely use this in fluid paintings the next thing I'm gonna tell you about is Liquitex heavy body well uh, you can see from the glare that this part is still wet I couldn't wait until this dried because I didn't really have the time but this part here is actually dry and it dries quite well uh, no change in color so yeah definitely satisfied with this but if Liquitex Basics is good enough I don't know why you need to go for Liquitex Heavy Body to create fluid acrylic paintings well the last one I'm reviewing is Sennelier now this one is the best according to me well uh, you should know that Sennelier is not really paying me to do this uh, these are all just my opinions I am not being paid by any of these companies uh, so this one I'm very happy with because uh, the color that you can see here is what it looks like in the tube and these are one of the ones that come in a pouch the new packaging that Sennelier has and this color which is dried here looks exactly like it is in the pouch and this part you can see is still wet and I actually felt it dried better than it looked when mixed with water so when I mixed the paint with water it looked slightly dull and then when I put it onto the canvas and dried it it looked brighter somehow so I'm very happy with this these are actually meant for fluid acrylic paintings that's it I think my choice of colors with Pevio was really good you can see it's not changed even a little bit so yeah Pevio and Sennelier these in my opinion are the best for uh, fluid acrylic paintings they dry just the way it looks when you pour it onto the canvas because I've been unsatisfied so many times I've uh, so far used only camel artists acrylics for fluid acrylic paintings because it was quite reasonable for me but uh, I was not always satisfied with the way it dried not all colors dry like it looks when it is wet so yeah I'll probably be using more of Liquitex basics because it's the most economical option and I'm very happy with the results that's it for today I hope this helped you and you're free to go ahead and try whichever ones you want these are just my opinions I can't repeat that enough uh, you may try them and feel differently so do let me know in the comments below what you feel which ones are the best for fluid acrylic paintings and remember that this review is only about when you mix these paints and dilute it with water well thank you so much for watching and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so bye bye I'll see you next week